Okay, well, we've been in business for 25 years, so I've personally come to the conclusion that we must be doing something correct. Um, I think uh, the two main things that are uh, can be attributed to that success are the staff that we've had. Over that course of time, many of the staff we've had here have been with us for 10 years, 15 years. I've been with the company for 20 years, so um, I think when people uh, are around for that length of time, that uh, you know there's going to be some success. The other thing I think is um, the quality of the projects that we've delivered over the years, and I think again it goes back to the the people that we've had on our team. They're passionate about design, and that's reflected in uh, the space that we create. We actually are very fortunate to have a very eclectic uh, client base, uh, some very prestigious projects, uh, some very unusual projects. We can do anything from a children's entertainment centre to a uh, detention centre. Um, we've worked with, uh, as I mentioned, prestigious clients such as the Supreme Court of Canada or uh, very large-scale projects, campuses for um, JDS Uniphase or, or Nortel. I think what's interesting to note is that about 80% of our projects are repeat clients. And I think this says a lot uh, about the type of service we provide and the relationships that we foster with our clients. Uh, I found in our industry that it's not very difficult to come away from a project with a, an environmental story. Um, we have lead accredited staff uh, and we can certainly offer clients uh, that route if they wish to pursue that. However, um, a lot of the manufacturers that we deal with, uh, they all have incredible uh, environmental sustainable programs and we get a lot of support in that regard. So um, if a client chooses not to go toward the lead accreditation route, we can still put together a, a very compelling environmental story for them. The most important thing uh, I feel is uh, they have to, their personality has to fit into our team. Um, most of the people we hire come from a very good accredited design school um, and they have to be passionate about design, passionate and creati in creativity. Um, the technical stuff we can always teach them, the passion and the creativity I feel is something that uh, people either have or they haven't got, so that's what we